welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So this is week 20 of my weekly sewing vlog and I have to say I really enjoy doing this every week and it motivates me all week as well. So it motivates me to get my plans done that I talk about the previous week and it gets me thinking about is there any hints or tips that I could tell you about that I've learned during the week. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my Sew Over It Audrey top. So I showed this fabric a few weeks ago in one of the vlogs. It's a cotton jersey in, from my shop. It also comes in a green colour. I really love this blue. So this is my usual sleeve on my Audrey top. I just cut it to above the elbow. <laughs> and this time I made the bow version. No, I didn't make the bow version, I made the knot version. So all my other Audrey's, and there will be more. I think I'll do a little blog post on them as well. I seem to make collections of my favourite patterns. So this week I wrote a blog post. Now, it probably wasn't very good, but it was my first one. So it, yeah, it took me ages to write because, honest to God, I could talk for Ireland, but I'm not great for writing. <laughs> so it takes me ages. So I did a blog post this week on my fringe dresses. And I'm definitely going to do one on all my Audrey tops because I wear them a lot. And I'm really loving the knot version. So I can whip them up very fast now. And I use my cover stitch around the neck and around the cuffs and the hem. So speaking of cover stitch, um, thanks very much for all the feedback and all the comments about my sew along for the Lulu cardigan this week as well. And I had a few people asking me and I forgot to mention it in the video and it really annoyed me that I'd forgotten. But if you don't have a cover stitch machine for doing all the top stitching, you can do it on your normal sewing machine. Just I've done it before with just like one line of top stitching or you can use your twin needle. Now I've used the twin needle on my machine and it doesn't really like it. I'm telling you this machine is such a diva. Like next week she may not mind the twin needle but the last time I tried it no she was having none of it. So um, yeah you don't need a cover stitch machine at all. It's just that I have it. I love it. I'm trying to learn how to use it and if you watched my sew along you'll see that uh, I kept it real. It wasn't good <laughs> but the finished product was yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And if you do have a cover stitch machine or you're thinking about getting one, I've been watching a lot of Alex from Gingerhead & Co. I've been watching a lot of her tutorials. She is the queen of the cover stitch, I'm telling you. So I have been watching a lot of her videos because I do like, she's very technical and I do like that. So yeah, if you were thinking of getting a cover stitch machine or you have one and you're wondering about anything, I would definitely check out Alex's channel and I'll, I'll link it down below. Now I did the Stitch Sisters um, class on the cover stitch as well, which was brilliant and there's no way I could have unboxed the machine without actually doing the course. But if you want more technicalities, go watch Alex. So yeah, so that was my sew along. So I uploaded that yesterday. And the other news on that is that here is the actual cardigan. And I know this fabric is sold out on my shop, but I'm getting it back in on Tuesday, which I am delighted about. I've been waiting for a delivery all week. And you know, I'm like a spoiled child at Christmas. I just, I, I'm watching every day. I'm waiting for the email. I'm waiting for the DPD to arrive at the door. And yeah, Tuesday is the day. It's been a long week waiting for the email to say that I'm getting it. So I'm getting this and I've also ordered it in an ochre color. So I can't wait to see that because this was actually much nicer when I received it as opposed to looking at the pictures from where I order it. So I'm dying to get the ochre. So yeah, they'll be in during the week. And I have a host of other fabrics coming in as well during the week. I have some more art gallery fabrics. I have the jersey fabric that I've had on back order for ages and it's another one of those that I absolutely love. I will pop in a picture of it so I can't wait to get that. And I've also got some cable knits coming in. Now there's good and bad news about the cable knits. 
The good news is that they're coming on Tuesday <laughs> and the bad news is that I was only able to get a very small amount of the purpley colour. Um, so I've only got enough really to fulfil orders from people who are waiting on it since the last time. I'm gutted, gutted about that, I will admit. <laughs> but I am getting it in three other colours and I have three beautiful heathered colours. So again, I can't wait for them to come in because one is, of course, a pink. It looks amazing. The other colour is, it's called lilac, so that really looks pretty online. And then the other colour is like an aqua, so can't wait to get those. Now I have cable knits ordered from another company as well, and I'm still waiting, <laughs> still waiting, and I'm not very patient. And I have a load of other colours ordered from them, so oh, I can't wait until that delivery drops in the door. <laughs> so. Yeah, I made this during the week and I also made a linden sweatshirt and I made it out of a jersey. So this is it and I will pop it on to show you. So I made it out of this lovely fabric. I'm obviously only shopping my shop at the moment uh, and I have a good bit of fabric in my stash as well and I find this I, th I think making things up as well is great for showing what the fabrics look like in a finished garment because I have a box of fabric namely over there and it's all fabrics that I would have ordered online over the last year or so and what I see online often doesn't turn into reality so I just think it's a really handy way of seeing something made up and you get to see what the fabric is like. So I'm going to pop this on and just show you what, how I got on with it and what changes I'm making to the next one. So here is my Linden, my Grain Line Studio Linden sweatshirt. And it's in this lovely, I think I've called it retro, mm, not quite sure, retro flowers. It's got a lovely, I think it's got a little Orla Kylie vibe to it. I like it. And of course it's got a pink background. There's a little bit of red and grey in it. I think it's really pretty. It's really comfy in this top. Now, it's a bit big. I, I feel it's quite big. And I kind of think that it's big because of the fact that I've actually made it in a jersey and not a French terry or a sweatshirt thing. I love the feel of it in a jersey. I know that it's not too bulky. I love, I like to be able to move. <laughs> you know me, I love my stretch. I made it in a size eight, which was exactly my measurements actually. And yeah, it's definitely too big. And the neckline I think is quite wide. So I wore it yesterday with the top underneath it, just a vest top and I could see the vest straps here. So I've cut out another one, of course. So I have cut out a size smaller in the body and yeah, the front and the back, but I've actually cut out the size eight sleeves because these are just perfect. I always find that my sleeves are just too tight up here, just, you know, bingo wings. So the sleeves are perfect. So I have an eight sleeve and I have a six front and back. And I've just cut the neckline, I'd say it's about a centimetre higher, so this is how it looks. So just on the neckline, so that's the, which is that? That is the back and on the front, and I've done the very same on the top of the sleeve. So I've just cut that little centimetre, just all around the neckline. Now I've cut the neckband the same, just from the pattern. And what I'll do is when I have all these seams and I have my neckline ready, I'm going to measure my neckline and I'm going to trim back my neckband to 80% of that length and that should work. So I think just that little centimetre up is going to make all the difference. The only alteration I made to this actual one is I took two inches off the sleeves because they were just way too long. But the rest of it, yeah, I love the shape of it. I love the band on the bottom. I got little labels printed a couple of weeks ago. So I just, I popped one on there. I think that's all blurry, but you get the idea. So just, yeah, 
So that's my Linden sweatshirt. Um, I love the raglan sleeves on it. It's extremely comfortable and I can't wait to make up that other one and because that's in another jersey as well. And my daughter really likes it so I think I'll be making her some as well. And I actually had quite a productive week to be honest. I made a skirt as well. So I have this cotton lawn in my shop and I really really like this and since I made that lovely red fringe dress I've been looking for more reds because I really think I love I love red. Now this is a beautiful colour red and I love all the colours that are in this. So there's blues and purples and there's a little bit of a strawy colour and a tiny tiny hint of green. I hope that's picking it up. So I've had this top made for a while because I had bought this fabric previous to having a shop and I've seen a lot of people making a top and a skirt or a top and say trousers lately and then you've got two pieces to wear individually or you can wear the two together as like a faux dress or a faux jumpsuit and I thought oh I'd really love a skirt out of that fabric. So I made a skirt and funnily enough <laughs> while I was making this skirt I had my Audrey top on and I'm going to put the two on together and show you and just yeah honest opinions are they good together I think they are like the colors all work I think it's a bit quirky I really like it now for next summer I am definitely making a nice white floaty skirt to go with this because I just think that's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So yes, made this skirt and I made this from a pattern that I got from Love Sewing magazine sometime early in the year. So it is McCall 7906. This is it. And this has buttons down the front. But of course I hacked the pattern because I really like the fact that this has kind of a high waist and it's got pleats so it's nice around the waist it's not too voluminous and it's got it falls into nice soft pleats but there's nice body and there's nice width to the skirt so what I did was obviously this has the button band I didn't want the button band I I I don't like the look of the buttons down the front of a printed fabric and plus I just hate sewing on buttonholes I, or buttons. I don't mind doing buttonholes because my machine does an amaze, amazing buttonhole but I just, I hate sewing on buttons and plus the fact that I feel when I sit down the two top buttons are going to spread or they're going to open. So what I did was I used the back piece on the front <laughs> and I just um, I put it on the fold and then on the back I used the front piece and I trimmed off as far as where it said on the pattern was the centre front. Now it's got amazing big pockets as well and I made view A which is I think it's just below my knee. So I hope that's not coming up too blurry but this is a pattern that I've made before and I'm definitely going to make more and this beautiful cotton lawn is perfect because it's got a lovely it's just got a lovely drape to it but it holds the pleats really nicely so I, I must say I really enjoyed making this skirt and my zipper stash is going low so I'm going to have to do like a little order for zippers so I had a zipper that I had bought put into a pouch and it was the perfect color red so it's one of these like laced zippers and I just I just popped it on top and I sewed down the two sides so the little metal piece is at the bottom of it which I think is a little ugly and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to unpick it and just take off that metal piece and just sew over it because that looking at that is kind of bugging me it's just you know when you've seen it you can't, it'll never go unseen. <laughs> so I'm going to put on the skirt and I'm going to put it on with the top and I love how these two look together. So here we have my faux dress. 
I really like this. So the skirt is lovely and high waisted. It's got the pleats sewn down quite low. So I think it's it's very flattering around the middle and then it just goes out into the lovely soft pleats. And this, I just think this fabric is just perfect for it. it just hangs really nicely. And it's got massive pockets. <laughs> And the top that I've made is the Nina Lee Park Lane top and I love this. I find this just so comfortable and it feels lovely in this fabric. It's really, really breathable. So I'm really liking, really, really liking this look. And I have another Harper cardigan in a teal colour and I think it's really nice over this as well. So it just brings out all the blues. So I think with tights and boots this is going to be a lovely look for autumn. Love these pockets. Honestly they go almost down to my knees. <laughs> so if you're familiar with the Harper cardigan um, I've made loads of them and I don't add the, the I just don't add the pockets onto them. I don't, I like this kind of streamlined look. So yeah, really, really like this. So what do you, what do you think? Is it too much? Is it okay? And I'm going to try on the Audrey top with the skirt now and see what you think. So here's the Audrey top with the skirt. I think they're cute. I think they're a happy accident this week. <laughs> I like them. God, I really love, I love this skirt. I would definitely recommend making this skirt if you have the pattern. Yeah. Does it work? <laughs> Is it just a figment of my imagination? So yes, they are my makes this week. And I've added, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've added a an Andrea's favourite fabric this week <laughs> to the website. I did that when I was doing my little rejig of the website. And this, surprise, surprise, is this week's favourite. Whatever. Um, and I've added a sneaky little discount so if you go in to read the description of Andrea's favourite fabric this week I have a discount code if you like the fabric and you want to buy it so there's a little discount code there that you'll find that will give you 10% off this fabric so if you put this into the basket with, it, with any other fabric you'll get 10% off this fabric so yeah this is a Pima cotton lawn and I have a couple of cotton lawns on the website and I really love, love the feeling of them and they wash beautifully. Now I have to make a confession, I wasn't a pre-washer. I'm sewing, <laughs> I'm sewing close on probably 40 years and my mother taught me we never, we never pre-washed, never and nothing ever shrank. So I haven't been a pre-washer, but I've become a pre-washer after a few shrinkages. Yeah, I've had a few shrinkages and I've been gutted about them. So I have become a serial <laughs> pre-washer. I have to say, I love, I love cutting out. I love washing fabric. I love seeing it on the line. I love drying it. I have a clothes horse, I dry it. I dry them on. I don't put them into the dryer because I never, ever, unless it's a, like a massive mistake that it goes into the dryer, but I never, ever tumble dry my makes. Never. <laughs> I hang them up in my boiler house, which is always quite warm, especially coming into the winter, or I put them on a clothes airer so they dry flat. But I've become an obsessive about pre-washing and it, there's such joy to cutting off the fabric. So I have cut a load of fabric this week and I've washed it. 
and I keep going on about this new washing powder that I have and it's called Wild Orchid and the smell of it is just divine so when I'm doing my pressing I have an amazing smell here in my sewing room this week so that was my makes this week I think I did quite well <laughs> and I have another linden obviously to cut out and I have a few other plans now what are my other plans so really liking the faux jumpsuit faux dress idea and I've met, I have my lovely friend Tess over during the week and I'm showing her a fabric that I was going to cut a piece of for myself which is this beautiful viscose and I saw this I've seen this online in loads of makes and every time I see it I love it and I think it's got absolutely gorgeous colours now coming into autumn and we both agreed that it was just screaming palazzo pants and do you know I have to agree but I'm being very mindful of what I make lately and I know I just won't wear palazzo pants and the reason I won't wear palazzo pants is I never know what shoes to wear with palazzo pants like they look absolutely stunning on people and I have a gorgeous pair I have the Nina Lee Portobello trousers which are stunning and I love them and they would be gorgeous in this but no I won't wear them I know I won't. So, I have, of course, my latest love is my culottes. So I've decided I'm going to make culottes and a top. So I'm going to have another faux dress with the cheeky culottes. Now, I'm, I have a beautiful jolly pattern ordered. Um, so that'll be in on Tuesday as well. Can't wait. Can't wait to give you the feedback on the jolly patterns as well. So I'm going to make the jolly top out of this because it's a lovely simple top with a little frill detail at the neck. And I'm going to make my culottes. So this is another free pattern from Love Sewing magazine. And they're really coming up trumps with the patterns at the moment. I'm loving them. So I've started, rather than look in my PDFs of my indie patterns lately, I've started opening the drawer of patterns and having a look to see what I have. So loving this one so that's going to be a full dress but culottes I think that's going to be gorgeous so I can't wait to make that and I am definitely going to make a burnt orange cardigan for the winter as well I've I've really been feeling the chill this week and I've taken out one Harper cardigan after the next so I have my ochre yellow one which I wear a lot I have a red one, red-ish, I have a black one and I have that lovely teal one and I still haven't made the purple cable but I will because that's going to go with so much in my wardrobe and I think an orange one will be gorgeous with this. So that's one of my next plans and for this week's segment of new fabrics in the shop I've decided to go with a blue theme so I'm really into the blues this week and I've cut myself a piece of I've been very busy shopping the shop this week it's been dangerous now this is another cotton lawn so this is the very same as that lovely red one and it's got parasols all over and again beautiful colors coming into autumn and this is pre-washed and it's beautiful it's just gorgeous so I have a few thoughts about what I'm going to make with this one love this there's a gorgeous new top pattern in this week this month's love sewing magazine just thought this was gorgeous so I really like the neckline and it's got long sleeves with a little elastic at the end and I think it seems to be quite a tunicky kind of a feel, so I think that would be lovely. So I think this would just be really nice in it. So really like that. And just the other cotton lawn that I have here at the moment is in colours of blue as well. And if you watch the Stitch Sisters, in one of their last videos, they made beautiful dresses for themselves out of this fabric that um, the lovely material girl Laura had gifted to them and it's the most stunning paisley print and this is just gorgeous 
and I think these cotton lawns are just amazing for breathability, beautiful and light, so easy to work with because they have the feeling of a viscose and they have a gorgeous drape of a viscose but they don't have all the movement when you're trying to cut out. So if you're a beginner sewist and you want to move on to things like viscose that are, you know, you just have to get used to the movability of it. The cotton lawns would just be perfect because they've had that, they have that lovely, lovely drape and they're really easy to work with. So that's my next blue. They're on, all on the floor here in front of me. And then of course, it wouldn't be a fabric show and tell without an art gallery print. And here is this gorgeous blue. Now I waited for ages for this to arrive as well because it was another one that was out of stock. And this one has stunning colours. So loads of blues. There's a little ochre colour in it. I'm loving ochre. And a little hint of green as well. So again, this would be fabulous in that top as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, another thought I had for this was, and I'm going to do a video just about this pattern shortly. This is the Isabella dress from Pattern Preacher. And I think this would be stunning in it. So a lovely beginner pattern. I'm going to talk about that in more depth in another video. So that's my art gallery offering for this week. Stunning, beautiful drape to it. And I have three more. I have this one that is just brand new to the website this week. This is a viscose crepe. So again, in the family of blues, beautiful weight to this fabric. So it's got a black background with again gorgeous blues, greens, yellows and a tiny little touch of orange. So I think that's fabulous, gorgeous, lovely lovely weight to that as well. So that's just brand new to the website this week and I had great feedback last week from the lovely Viscose jersey I put up and I think there's only maybe a metre and a half left of it and I have another one this week to show you. Sorry you're getting a great view of my <laughs> my grey there when I when I bend down. Definitely there's going to be a box of colour out this week. So look at this for gorgeous colours. This just reminds me of the sea. I think this is fabulous. So look at the drape on that. Isn't it just beautiful? So this is a viscose jersey. It's the same quality as the lovely Autumn Vibes one that I showed last week. Absolutely stunning weight to it. I nearly cut some of this for a Maven pattern summer set with the bishop sleeves because I think the drape of this into the gathered beautiful bishop sleeve with the long cuff would be amazing but again as I say I'm thinking what will I wear I wear my sleeves to here and I prefer to put a cardigan over and as much as I love the look of the bishop sleeve I know that I'll end up either shoving it up or I look at the top and go no that I won't wear that sleeve I just I just know I won't wear it that much but I think it would be stunning in that. And then the last one I have to show is one that I'm finding incredibly difficult to photograph for the website. So every single photograph that you see on the website I've taken them. So I've had a few comments lately, um, I've had a few like messages through the website saying I love your photographs. So I take my photographs on my iPhone. I usually use the portrait mode because I put my fabric, say, on a chair or a table or something outside and I have lovely stone walls um, outside, I'm really lucky, and I have the grottiest paving on my patio, but with portrait mode, it looks, I think it looks gorgeous. So I love taking photographs outside because 
you just get to see the colours better and there's no filtering that has to be done with it. It's just brilliant. So I'm going to keep that up. I have another few ideas in my head about another few photographs because I like to just do something a little bit different. Right. So I love when my fabrics come in and I pile them together and I bring them outside, weather permitting, and I take my photographs. So I really have to make a more of an effort to make take a photograph of this fabric because it is really, really gorgeous. I think I've called it Lemon Vibes on the website. And it's a cotton poplin. And again, the colours are stunning. And I have it because there's loads of blues in it. And because I'm loving the way blue is coming into autumn colours as well. So very autumnal. You've got your lemons, but not yellow lemons. We have pink lemons and orange lemons and other beautiful colours in it. So this is a cotton poplin. I love the feeling of it. Again, really, really wearable. Um, I'm just finding at my age, I'm just having the spike of temperature. And if I'm wearing anything other than like nice cottons and that, yeah, I feel, I'm really feeling the heat. So love this. It would be gorgeous for this skirt that I've made as well because there's nice body but there's also lovely drape to it. I think that's really lovely and again oh there's a teal colour in it that's gorgeous with this cardigan. I love when I see photo uh, love when I see my fabrics on a Sunday like this it's like that I'm revisiting them and I'm seeing them with other colours so there's a lovely little teal colour coming in there and again lovely with this cardigan. I am sourcing some nice ponty fabrics at the moment so that's actually really nice with that and of course it's fabulous with my ochre oh my god look at it with the oh look at it with the ochre oh god Oh no, it's the ochre, isn't it? The ochre is amazing with it. And I can't wait to get the orange cable in it as well. So this is, yeah, a cotton poplin. Stunning. So that's the roundup of my picks of fabrics this week. And I will be like a child at Christmas on Tuesday when the box of new fabrics come. Um, I've written a few notes this week so that um, I, I often leave these videos and go, oh, damn it, I forgot to mention that, so I've started writing a few notes, which is, you know, these videos are done very off the cuff, so it's just a little chat. And I see, top of the list, what I wanted to actually mention this week, and again, I have forgotten it, I think two weeks in a row, is I mentioned a couple of weeks ago about the PDF pattern printing in Plan Printing 24 that I got an amazing deal on, I think I sent, was it 27? Yeah, I, I sent 27 pattern sheets off to be printed and had them within a matter of days. And I mentioned about my style arc patterns. So I mentioned on my vlog that when I went in to get my A0 versions of the style arc patterns that they were gone, poof, gone. <laughs> But one of you lovely ladies messaged me on Instagram and told me that I should have a Stylark account. So I went on to the website and I logged in and my computer had remembered, or oh, sometimes the computers are great, had actually taken note of my login details. So I went in and there was all my patterns. It was like magic. There they were. So what I had done was I never knew about my account. Dumb. I went into my emails and I searched for my Stylark emails and when I went there there was a link to all the downloads and it did say that after 14 days the links expire but I didn't know <laughs> so thank you for letting me know that if I go into my account they're all there so yes I have managed to save all my A0 patterns so what I had done pre previous to this was Sorry, I seem to, I, I go around in loops, loops. What I had done previous to this was when I got my Stylark downloads, I downloaded everything apart from the A0s because I thought, oh, I'm never going to use them. 
but yes, I've been spoiled now by having the A0s printed and so efficiently and so affordably as well. So yes, if you have encountered that problem, possibly you were doing the same as me and just downloading from your emails, but no, there you have an account. Now the other thing to point out as well, and another one of you lovely ladies commented and said it on one of my previous vlogs was, the Stylark large format are not an A0. So they are a little bit bigger. But when you send them off to Plan Printing 24, they will message you and say that they're not an A0 and they'll charge you slightly more. So I think their prices are, they're less than a pound a sheet anyway. I think they're about 80, 80 pence a sheet. And maybe you have to pay another 40 cent. So you have to pay a little bit extra because they are an odd size. So I have yet to try it myself. I do have another folder of patterns on my computer that I'm going to upload now one of the days and have them printed as well. So I've reprinted quite a few of the patterns that I stuck together last year simply because I was a bit mean with the tape and they've started to come apart. <laughs> so that was last year. I have been better this year at taping them together. I'm using a little bit more um, sellotape but I have reprinted them because yeah just to spoil myself why not. <laughs> so that is the weekly vlog number 20 and I hope you've enjoyed my little my little um, fashion show and I will chat you all next Sunday. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.